evening everybody well they just had the fifth uh, GOP debate on CNN and uh, I was on social media and and the reflection of uh, people might think that because I can I compared the GOP uh, debate to SNL well I was I was a comic cynicism there uh, and one of the comments was, uh, who am I going to choose, Hillary? Nah. Uh, Hillary's one of the elites. And here's what I got out of the debates. Uh, Ted Cruz and Rocco Rubio spent too much time debating bills that they, you know, were debating in the uh, Congress. Uh... Chris Christie is right about one thing. I don't give a shit about the bills that they're debating on Capitol Hill. Here's the biggest problem that a lot of uh, time was spent tonight on ISIS. ISIS is a proxy army that was established in Syria, funded by NATO and the United States. We gave them the weapons. We basically created the power vacuum that evolved into ISIS. <clears throat> John McCain was over there. He spoke directly to those people. You know, call them freedom fighters. So, well, back in the 80s, we did we supported freedom fighters also in Afghanistan. They turned into Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda is another proxy army created by the CIA. And some people might say, well, that's a conspiracy theory. Uh, no. Uh, you got plenty of people who are in the power elites have admitted that, yeah, we found, we funded Al-Qaeda. We gave them weapons. We find, we originally uh, funded uh, ISIS with all these weapons. But the bottom line is, uh, Rand Paul is correct about one thing. National debt. Uh, two sides of the same coin, Republicans and Democrats, are spending too much money. Uh, Democrats want to spend it on social issues. Um, Republicans want to spend it on military. Uh, a lot of the uh, candidates are correct that uh, we're gutting the military. Uh, I'm retired military, so for those of you who don't know who I, my background, I'm retired Navy. Uh, we're not back when I first re-enlisted in the Navy uh, under Reagan. Reagan wanted 600 ships, or 500 ships, well, 500, 600 ships. Anyways, he wanted a big, you know, carry a big stick type of uh, policy. Reagan, you know, succeeded in what he wanted to do. He wanted to bring down communism. Well, he didn't completely bring down communism, but he brought down Soviet communism. Who, I think, won the debate? Donald Trump. I was one of the thousands that went on social media beginning of the year and said, told Donald Trump, put up or shut up. Well, he's putting up and he ain't shutting up. Uh, some people don't like Donald Trump because he's too abrasive. Well, Jeb, uh, it's time America has an abrasive president. You ain't it. I saw that picture of your Miami uh, watch the you know, debate party. What? Uh, you got a lot of empty chairs there. Uh, Jeb, it's time for you to get out. You're spending way too much money. I mean, uh, if I if I was one of those ultra-rich elites supporting you, I would say at this point, it's just, why give you money? You can't win. Right now, with just a few months to go before the first of primary elections, Jeb, you ain't got a chance. Get out. Uh, the people I favor right now, uh, I do like Dr. Ben Carson. I do like Ted Cruz. I do like Rand Paul. I do, I do like Donald Trump. Carly Fiana, or Carly, whatever her last name is. Uh, one thing I don't like about her, uh, well, her parents on the, uh, on the, uh, the close-ups on the debates. I don't know who's got more makeup on their face, Anderson Cooper or you. Uh. You're over made up. You got too much of that stuff caked on your face. You're fake. You're just like Jeb Bush, 
Chris Christie, uh, the guy from Ohio. You're all reading from scripts. You're you're prescripted. You're not talking from the heart. That's why I won't vote for you. I don't care if you're a woman. You're talking from a script. You're not, you're you're too canned, Christy. You're too canned. I don't care how long you spend as a prosecutor. When it comes to uh, data collection by the United States government, Big Brother, one Big Brother already has a back door to everything. Should Big Brother have a back door to everything? No. Uh, I think mass gathering of information that they talked a lot about tonight, I think it's wrong. I think you still need to get a subpoena, search warrant. This is the American way. You want to look in somebody's backyard, you need a warrant. And whether it be a cell phone or a computer, you need a warrant. I don't think the I don't think I don't think the government has the right to be able to take what they want and knock down your door based on what they stole from you. Your privacy is your privacy. When it comes to the, the uh, California shooting, uh, they got a point too. How can you vet somebody? That's not in any database. And let's get down to basics, people. The American people are being are being fooled with. They're being lied to. All these groups, ISIS, Al Qaeda, uh, what's that new word? That new freaking word the president's using to refer to uh, ISIL? He says ISIL and some other new word. Uh, it's the same group of people. They're getting airdropped military arms from various sources. A lot of them are, might, I don't care what the flag on the tail of the wing of the airplane is, uh, they're Western-backed organizations, whether it be military or black ops organizations. Our tax money's paying for it. The British, European tax money's paying for it. Uh, overall, in the debate, I think Trump won. Overall, what's going to happen in the next three or four months is uh, some of these people, like Kasich is right, uh, no president has won the election without winning Ohio. Well, yeah, you're a state in statistics, but uh, I mean, I really don't like that guy anyway. He, he he's, he's a canned politician. Uh, Rubio, you're an idiot. I mean, the uh, you're just doing what you're just doing what your coach to, to say, and I don't like your stances on a lot of stuff. I don't care if you're an immigrant. I'm a grandson of an immigrant, so you know my you no know, most of us are either second, third, or fourth generation American, immig you know from immigrants. Uh, Michael Savage on the radio, he you know his his family's immigrants. Most of us are immigrants, so. You're not talking from anything special. I deal with immigrants all, you know, every day. When I go out in the world here here in, in Florida, I deal with immigrants all the time. A lot of people in, you know, there are illegal immigrants within the stone, within a, a few, you know, a mile from here. I don't know who they are. You can't really say who is and who ain't. But... They talked about social issues. They talked more, mostly about foreign policy. Rand Paul's got it right. Uh, our foreign policy is uh, uh, driven by the fact that uh, this country's way in debt. And let, you're not going to fix things by printing up more money. And uh, Donald Trump is right. Obamacare is going to implode in 2017. You know, we got insurance companies that uh, are going are going broke and say they're going to pull out of the Obama exchanges. Who's our best hope for president in 2016? The election? Well, can any president in 20, whoever's elected in 2016, can they really save us from what our current president is doing? I don't know. They're all puppets anyway. The only person I think that's running that can get in the end of the White House and not be a puppet is Trump.
I think he's the only person that it would not be a Kermit the Frog with strings attached, you know, to his arms and being controlled by a puppet master. Everybody else is a pu are controlled by puppet masters. Ron Paul, I mean Rand Paul, uh, is he bought and paid for? I don't know. Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, maybe. Carly, what's her name? Maybe. Dr. Carson? Nope. Trump? Nope. A lot of people are upset because, well, Trump's this, Trump's that. Well, yeah, Trump's played the uh, other side of the fence. He was a businessman all of his life. And he admits to it. Yeah, he gave to both sides of the fence. You have to. You have to, to play, their, play the game of the elites. But the bottom line is, I won't vote for a Democrat ever again. Local, state, or federal. I'll never again vote for a Democrat. The Republican Party has screwed up big time them, themselves. Boehner sold us. Most of them sold us down the river. It's time for new people. Why not start, why not start at, at the top? Replace the top man with an outsider. Does Donald Trump know a lot of skeletons in people's closets? I I think so. Everybody on that stage tonight's got you know skeletons in their closet. Everybody, everybody in the world has something they don't want the world knowing about. Everybody's sensitive about their personal life. And I do believe people have a right to keep their personal stuff private. Big brother shouldn't have have the right to go into your computer and use that information to socially destroy you. Uh, they did that with Sarah Palin. They used every bit of information they could to destroy her. Of course, I thought Sarah Palin was more of a dingbat than anything. Uh, the biggest dingbat in, in politics right now is Hillary Clinton. What, you, you want to be president because you have your last name? <laughs> Bullshit. You're a dumbass. Well, that's basically it. And, you know, I thought it was comical. I laughed at it. I used the word dumbass at the TV a lot tonight. I really do not like the canned responses I've seen on TV tonight. Americans are tired of canned responses. Jeb, you better... Turn the, turn the corner real quickly because all you got is canned responses. Well, I'm going to end this video and put it up on YouTube. So, people, don't go with a canned response. You're going to be hating yourself after the election. Bye-bye.